Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel I am back with another video tutorial for my Python's project playlist We all make use of passwords on a daily basis to keep our accounts safe and prevent the password from being hacked We make use of password that's strong enough so that no one can guess it Password generator is a random password generating program which generates a password which is a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters as well as numbers and symbols so that it's strong enough to provide a secure password In this video tutorial we'll learn how to create a random password generator Let's have a look at today's agenda We'll cover the basics of what's a password, random and string module, and we'll see how to create a random password generator. Let's get started. What's a password? A password, sometimes called as a passcode, is a memorized secret, typically a string of characters, usually used to confirm the identity of a user. In other words, it's a string of characters used to verify the identity of a user during the authentication process. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to its Wikipedia page. Let's have a look at the modules used. Random module. Random module is used to perform the random generations. We'll make use of random dot sample module here. String module. The string module contains a number of useful constants, classes, and a number of functions to process the standard Python string. We'll see random module and string module in detail at the time we code. Now that you're familiar with password use cases and have acquired a basic knowledge of random and string module, we can move forward to the coding section. It's time to code. You can find all the code at my YouTube project GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide. I'll attach the link in the description box below. Before we proceed, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Well, subscribe it so you never miss an update. So now let's quickly head over to a VS Code editor. Let's start by creating a new password. I'll name it as password generator. In order to access the Python library, we need to import it in our Python script. So let's start by importing the packages in our script. Import random and import string. Once done, let's greet the user. Let's enter our message here. Hello, welcome to password generator. Next, let's ask the user for the length of password. I'm storing it in length. Let's cast it to integer. Input. And let's enter a message here. Enter the length of password. Now it's time to define our data. We will make use of string module for the same. So we require lowercase alphabets, uppercase alphabets, strings, and some punctuations, also known as symbols. Let's look at them one by one. So we will go for lowercase letters first. So string dot ASCII lowercase. Next, let's store the uppercase letters in upper from string dot ASCII uppercase. Let me print it out for you. Let's save and run our Python script. Okay, let me comment out length here. So if you can observe, we have lowercase and uppercase alphabets here. 
Next, let's go for numbers and symbols. So I'm storing numbers in num. That's string dot digits. And now we'll store punctuations in symbols. So string dot punctuations. Let me print it out for you. Let me clear the screen. Let's run. So here we have our digits and symbols in statements. We have stored lowercase and uppercase letters along with numbers and symbol. It's time to combine the data. Storing it in all. So lower plus upper plus numbers plus symbols. Now that we have combined our data, let's make use of random module to finally generate the password. So I'm calling in a temporary variable here random.sample and I'm passing in two parameters here a combined data and the length of password let's uncomment it let's try printing it out first so if you observe it's in form of a list here password equals to we'll make use of join here and pass in temp now let's finally print our password let's go for 16 it's asking oh sorry it's asking me for the length of password so i'm entering 16 okay we forgot to print the password let's print it out and here we go So 16. Let me run it few more times. Here's a password. Also, it's unique. That means random.sample never repeats characters. If you don't want the characters or digits to get repeated in the string, then make use of random.sample. But it's less secure. Why? Because it reduces the probability of combinations because we are not allowing repetitive letters and digits. Let's go for a bigger one this time. Say 50. And here's the password. With these steps, we have successfully created a random password generator using Python. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Hope this tutorial has helped you. You can even make use of Python GUI using tkinter. For the source code, you can refer to my YouTube project's GitHub repository. Also, check out the ultimate Python resource hub repository for Python podcasts, newsletter, books, etc. Drop a star if you find it useful. Also, refer my blog for a step-by-step -step guide. I'll attach the links in the description box below. Connect with me on Twitter. My Twitter handle goes by ayushi 7 Rawat, LinkedIn and other social platforms. I'll mention the links in the description box. I would strongly recommend you to join my Telegram channel and Discord server to get regular updates. Also to connect with peers and fellow developers to make new connections and help improve your coding skills. If you have any queries feel free to reach out to me. If the video helped you, like and share it with your friends and connections who are interested in learning Python and make sure to subscribe my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Do share your feedback in the comments section below. It will help me improve my next video. Also, drop your suggestions if you want me to make a video on a particular topic. I will be back with more such videos. Till then, Take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.